Jesus calls for me. My answer is, I will go when Jesus calls for repast. My answer is, I will go. Shh. Do you know what? Jesus is coming with angels and angels around. Will you be there? Hmm. So, be steadfast, be watchful, be ready. He's coming. Let's pray, children. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, guide us, guide us, mold us, mold us, to be like you, to be like you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello children, it's that wonderful time of the year again. It's camp meeting and our theme for the camp is... I will go. Welcome to our children's sermon today. My name is Teacher Ivy. This is Leila, Jasmine and Tamara. We are so happy to have all of you here today. God bless you. Our memory verse for today is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 20 It says Wisdom cries aloud in the street In the marketplace she raises her voice Thank you so much children So last Sabbath we learned about Paul and his teachings Today we're not just going to learn about Paul Today we visit Paul in the city of Athens. Athens. Did you just say Athens? Hmm. Anyone with information about this place? Because all I know is that it's just a city. Anyone? Yes, Tamara. Athens was a beautiful city. Athens was a beautiful city. Thank you. Yes, Leila. Athens had good artists who could draw idols. Athens had good artists who could draw idols. Interesting. Thank you. Yes, Jasmine? Athens had good soldiers who could fight nicely. Ah, Athens had good soldiers, meaning the place felt very protected. Wow. Thank you. So when Paul was just a little boy, like we are all in primary A, he really wanted to go to this place because, like he said, it was beautiful, it had good soldiers, and now he was there. And as Paul was waiting for his friends, it was not the beauty of Athens that first struck him. What was the first thing that struck Paul, Paul's eyes when he got to Athens? Yes, Tamara? The, the idolatry that was going on. Ah, so you mean this place had idols all over the streets? Ah, that is sad. Who can help us understand what an idol is? Yes, Jasmine? An idol is anything you... Let's say, for example, uh -huh. arti the artist in Athens meets like an idol, and then God gave you something. Then you say that the idol was the one that gave you that thing. Ah, thank you. So you mean when you put something before Jesus, that is your idol? Yeah. Ah, so Jesus should be first and last in our lives. Thank you. So when Paul saw this, he was very troubled in his heart. He was very troubled, and he started speaking to these people, and he reasoned with them gently and nicely. Who knows, anyone else in the Bible who was very gentle? Yes, Leila? Jesus. Jesus was gentle. How was Jesus gentle? Yes, Tamara? Jesus used to correct people, but also gently. Ah, Jesus would correct people gently. Nice. So, Paul used the same principle to teach the people at Athens. And he went to different places to talk about God. What was the first place Paul went to in Athens? Yes, Leila? The synagogue. To the synagogue. Thank you. And secondly... Jasmine. The marketplace. To the marketplace. And lastly, Tamara. Areopagus. To the Areopagus. Thank you. Let's go to the first place. To the mark to the synagogue. What is a synagogue? Yes, Leila. A synagogue is like a church. A synagogue is like a church. Wow. And what did Paul do at the synagogue? Yes, Tamara. He reasoned with them. 
He reasoned with them from the scriptures. From the scriptures, exactly. And just like us today, we are in church, and we should be like Paul, reason with people from the scripture, talk to our friends about Jesus, our teachers, and our family members. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. Amen. 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 Now let's go to the marketplace. What did Paul do at the marketplace? Yes, Tamara. He touched he he reasoned with the people in general. He reasoned with the people in general. Hmm, let's picture a marketplace. How does a marketplace look like, Jasmine? A marketplace is where there are buyers and sellers. Ah, so this place had buyers and sellers, and there were so many people there. But still, Paul talked about God boldly in the marketplace, okay? Okay. So that means, even for us, we don't have to wait for Sabbath to talk about Jesus. We can talk about God on... Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Any other day of the week we can talk about Jesus. And when Paul had talked about God in the marketplace, some people saw him and they decided to take him to the Areopagus. Hmm. Which people took him to the Areopagus? Yes, Leila. The philosophers. The philosophers took him to the Areopagus. And what is this Areopagus? It's a very long word. What does it mean? Yes, Jasmine. Uh, the Areopagus is a court. Ah, so court. these philosophers took Paul to court. And why was he taken to court? Yes, Tamara. To explain himself what he was saying. The people there. The, the things Paul was saying were mm -hmm. strange to them. They never had them. Ah, so they thought Paul was talking about strange things and they wanted him to explain himself. So when Paul got to the Areopagus, which is a court, he started talking about God boldly and courageously. And as he was talking, these people gave him a name. They started calling him a certain name. What name was this? Yes, Leila? A babbler. A babbler. And what is a babbler? Yes, Jasmine? A babbler is a seed picker, which is a bird. Ah, so they compared Paul to a bird, which is a seed picker. Hmm. Why would they call him that? Yes, Tamara? Because they thought he was speaking ideas here from there. Ah, so they thought Paul was just speaking ideas here and there. But this was not the case. Paul was not discouraged. He continued talking about God in the Areopagus, and he mentioned how God is the creator of the world. God is the only judge and the ruler, and how God has got the whole world in his hands. He's, he's got, got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his children, we have come to the end of this story, and we have seen how Paul boldly talked about God in the city of Athens. Athens. Thank you, children. Before we finish, what are some of the lessons we can draw from this story? Yes, Leila? That God is our creator, and also he's the ruler of nations. God is our creator, and he's the ruler of nations. Thank you so much, Leila. Yes, Tamara? God is God is the sustainer of life, and we should not worship any other idols except from God. Thank you. God is our sustainer, and we should not worship any other idols apart from God. Thank you. Yes, Tamara? That God is our judge and is also our rescuer, and that we should not worship idols. That God is our judge and our rescuer, and that we should not worship any other idols. Also, when we see our friends going astray, we should not keep quiet, but we should gently bring them back to Jesus and tell them that God loves them. Okay? Okay. All right. So All right. Amen. Amen. I will go. I'll invite Jasmine to pray. Let's pray. Our kind and loving Father, thank you for teaching us to be like you. 
In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Amen. Thank you, children, for joining us today. You all made Jesus happy just because you came. But for now, bye! bye.